filthy already. The first thing I'm going to work on today is getting everything out of the van, and I mean everything. I mean this, this ply board can go, the seats can go, all the, the jacks and the broken glass and the tyres and the dead plants and the empty crisp packets and everything else in here is going to be taken out and I'm going to give it a damn good scrub. And when it's cleaner, I can start to make it look a little bit nicer, just a little bit. One of the most important things with any project like this is learning to be adaptable and adapting to what you have to work with. So here, although this floor is fairly destroyed, I'm going to try lifting these boards and turning them upside down to see if they're any good on the bottom. If they're no good, it's not a problem. I'll just use them as a template for when I cut the new ones instead. Got my dad helping out. They're always useful for that. At this point, early on, you want to absolutely strip the van naked, like get into those little bits, those things that you think, Ugh, I don't want to get in there and, and pull them out because it's the only time you're going to get rid of it. Right, I'm going to show you here. Look at this. These are the sills. Disgusting, full of sludge. You've got to get in there. We've lifted up this carpet. This carpet was wet, disgusting. I I'm just going to replace the whole thing now. All the boards have gone from the floor. All the boards from the walls are gone. Just look, there's dirt everywhere. It just, it, it gets everywhere. I'm, blast, I'm blasting all I can, getting rid of as much dirt as I can. And uh, when I've got rid of all of this, like, as much, got rid of as much of the crap as I can, I'm then gonna pressure wash it and just, just blast out as much dirt as I can possibly get rid of because this is the only time I will ever have the van like this. And in the meantime, nice sunset going on. Uh-huh, yeah, everybody likes the sunset. This terrible pressure, I can't even knock the bottle over. We are now driving on what Leah calls the tiny roads of England, giving her a little bit of training for when she's going to be driving a massive van through these roads. She's not particularly happy about it. I'm good, until another car comes. You breathing? Yep. Breathing? What do I do if an animal runs out? Stop! Oh, here comes the first car. I've done it. I've done it. Do I signal? I'm going to yeah. signal. Okay. Oh, yeah. My first successful pullover. Oh, and a courtesy wave. What I'm doing now is sanding down the roof of the van where it went through McDonald's by mistake. So after a whole lot of pulling apart, spraying, scrubbing, trying to get it as clean as possible, we've now got a really nice empty shell of a van and I've ordered loads of stuff from the internet. We've got insulation, foil, all sorts of things that are going to go in there and now is the time that we start making the van look wonderful hopefully just got my sink to put in the van curiously 
a onesie in it as well. I suppose I'd better wear that when I'm driving around in my van. <laughs>